The threat of afternoon and evening storms is not deterring people from enjoying the beaches and the shoreline. Let's give you a live look at Ocean City, where families are busy making memories and businesses are hoping to cash in for the fourth. South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner is in Ocean City right now with a closer look at what's going on. Brandon? Hey, Yuki, thousands of people are out here at Ocean City right now, and Ocean City spokesman says it is the most crowded it's been in a while. Just take a look at some of these crowds that we have, even at Manco and Manco Pizza late in the afternoon. Lines of people also at Rita's Water Ice, people waving, saying, hey, for many people, this is an annual tradition to go to the beach. <laughs> when it comes to making memories at the beach, it's all about the little moments. You want more? From the cold sweetness of water ice as it touches your lips. I've been coming here since I was born, basically. To Lynn Kopak remembering her grandfather relaxing on the beach in his suit. No, not bathing suit. Well, as a little kid, the grandfathers used to wear coats and ties on the beach. And we have many pictures of them sitting in lounge chairs, but in the coats and ties, because that was the thing to do way back when. Now, on this Independence Day weekend, Kopak is impressed by how much has changed. It's kind of fun to look back on that type of uh, attire into today's, how the society has progressed. As the years progress, new families like Alyssa Barber and her son Kai get to make their own memories. He wanted red water ice, he got red water ice. Barbara's family drove more than 90 minutes from Franklinville. There's a lot of people, but honestly, like, it's not nearly as crowded as I thought it was going to be. But the crowds have been good enough for John V. Wegger, who runs the boardwalk business TLC's Polish Water Ice. He's hoping to make memorable profits after a rocky start to the season. It really helps out because the, we had a uh, rough spring. May was cold, windy and cold. And half of April and, and June was it, it was rocky weather. Despite the changes in weather and how people dress for the beach, Copex says the spirit of Ocean City never changes. To me, it's still the same. It's family oriented, and I recognize that they've had some issues with the kids and the you know backpacks and stuff. But the police in this county, uh, city, have it very very well organized. And coming up at 6, we're going to be talking exactly about that, the backpack ban, the teen curfew. We're going to talk to people about how they feel it's affected the boardwalk's atmosphere. That's coming up at 6. Back to you all in the studio. Need some sunglasses, Brandon, but we thank you, as always, for your reporting. <laughs>